Here I would describe how to troubleshoot issues when the dashboard utility doesn't run. A symptom of this is when you can see in the console that the health metrics are not updated. Here are the troubleshooting steps that need to be followed. And I will run through these in the next slides. So in troubleshooting um, the issue, the first week thing we can do is check to see if there's any logs for the dashboard data generator. So if I look in the uh, system server DB directory, scroll down to see if there's any dashboard, we can see that there's one. So obviously my dashboard did run at some point, but if there are no, no logs, then that indicates that the dashboard data generator utility is not running. Now we can check the two forms that control the schedule and the execution of the KPI and data sources jobs. The first form is the dashboard utility run history, which records the history of the jobs that are being run. So one thing to check to see if there's any running jobs. So if you check the run status of running, if there are any run state, any records with this run status, then you can safely delete them. The other form, seem to be Dashboard Schedule Manager, holds the schedules for the data sources. So here you can see I have one for data sources and one for KPI. Next, you can check the escalation that runs the um, utility and here you can see the escalation. Now if you see that, the, that there is a delay in when you expect the escalation to run as there may be contention with other escalations you can also change the pool number of the escalation here for example I set this to 2 that will run in pool, pool 2. Now I will see if I can run the utility manually And here you can see this doesn't work. Now this is probably because the Java path, the Java version is not set correctly. So if I open up the utility command script, here I can see the Java version is incorrect. It should be two. So I'll update that. Other things to check, apart from you've got the correct JDK version, are the versions for ARS and CMDB here. If any of the values are set to variables or they're incorrect, then they need to be changed to the, ver the versions that are appropriate for the versions of CMDB and ARS that you have. Okay, so if I save the form, I will try and run the utility again. And here you can see it is now running and now has completed successfully. These are a few hints to get the dashboard utility working. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.